my god, a great place to start. No changes. We're gonna see what it is before we say no changes or not. Some snap dudes for new streamers in the beta. I don't know if new games is a solid way to get started, but it depends on how the game goes. Yeah, so snap is one of the rare instances where new fully organic content creators came up and got started just from being in the space. But like, but it's also worth noting that like myself and other larger content creators who came into the snap space also worked to raid, raid other smaller creators, right? Like, um, KK Sparkles, for instance, who's competing in Conquerors today, she recently got, got Twitch partner, which is awesome. She's a newer, newer creator that got her start doing Snap stuff, which is great to see. That's one, of, it's one of the reasons why, especially during, um, especially during when, like, Twitch drops are going on, for example, you'll note I try not to just sit there and ping pong viewers back to other bigger streamers. I try to make a point. I try to make a point to raid people who are smaller. Because I think one of the biggest problems in society in general is people who are successful pulling the ladder up behind them. Yeah, Doug Pie is another great creator in chat. That's someone that I've said to rain on over to a sub frequency. They're a great, a great follow if you're looking for someone else making some snap content. Like I, like I've said, it's something of a dirty liberal. I try to, I try to make sure I practice what I preach as frequently as possible. this. Pull the ladder up is a good analogy. Yeah, it's very apt. Didn't you know that a rising tide sinks all the ships? Yep. He gets this, and then I can forge the shot next turn. surfer I wanted for Christmas, but I could floop my dog around. So Shaw gets big over here, Okoye, middle, ham the left. Late night MTG dad. Thank you for the 16 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Their, their hawk's a little baby because we hit the draw mode on Nico.
Uh, Shaw did have eight power there. There's a graphical bug visually showing how much power Shaw has on the board currently. So if you if you go back and look at the location, it was contributing eight. And if you like click and zoom in, it shows two bonuses. I'm gonna go for the spotlight variant emblem. I actually don't know. I need to look at those. Shocker, chat. It's an Annihilus deck. Dawned Ironheart to serve for your zone, Stellar. What are they going to do without their Eliath? Hopefully just die. I guess... Forging the Iron Heart means that. Forging the Iron Heart means I'm not guaranteed to hit the Shaws. Prison deck. I probably shouldn't have. I wanted to take the fun line. They just can't play fun decks in this game anymore. Fuck you, bud. <laughs> actually, it's actually just been 12 Dark Cock decks and a Professor X deck. Good golly. You didn't expect Professor X. We saw Eliath and Miss Marvel. They're 100% of Professor X deck there. They just like, they lost to me doing anything other than the fun line. Which is sad. Darkhawk dies today. Yeah, maybe. I mean, how are you going to draw your blob when they cut you off of two or three draws a game? Not very consistently, right?
Gabriel, thank you for the membership on the YouTube side. Appreciate the support. Victory. How's this deck felt so far? It felt like one of the less bad Shaw decks I've played, but it's also just like a Werewolf Bounce deck, right? Deck, shocker. all these hawks are Loki. I actually don't mind playing against Loki. I've been pretty adamant on this channel that I think all the people complaining about Loki are giant crybabies. Hello. Shaw, she never hits him if there's any sort of coin flips. I mean, if you want to reach your cards based on their their least likely outcome, you know, as you will, I suppose. Speaking of hello, hello, because I don't know if I'm going to play the air project today. I want to share. We've got these coming up, subscribers. These will, these will hopefully be ready next week. This is just the first base pass of coloring, so they're not quite as detailed as uh, as our other finished emotes. This is from the same artist, so the, most of the rest of my stuff at this point. So we'll have we'll have these in, in Twitch chat here soon. Yeah, really, really good work. Hey, get you later, my man. you made it to the city museum coolest place i've ever been i don't even live in st louis hey i missed that message yeah it was really awesome we will definitely be back there with the kids they had a ton of fun dead ball thank you for the seven months appreciate that Passing. Oh. 
opponent is cooking. Korg and Hood? Oh, this might be one of those Dark Hawk decks. Do I want to copy the next card I play? I do. Jin can give us enough energy for a second beast to be useful. Yeah, but I only have two more turns is the problem. Right, we might draw something that's worth copying. Yeah, sorry. So Sebastian Shaw with Forage is a visual bug. It says six here, but you can see one plus eight is nine. So if I do this, this will cost two, this will cost two, this will cost zero, and then I'll have another surfer back in my hand. Yeah, incredible. Actually, just how we drew it up. I missed out on a draw next turn, but I don't think that matters. Ooh, holding the rock for the ham is huge too. Yeah, they could be widowing me anyways. It's important that I play for all three because I notably, um, I notably could get Shadow Kings here. So dog jumps here, forge buffs this, dog jumps here, dog jumps here, dog jumps here, win the game. Probably worth filling left to block any. Well, they have a rock here, right? And I'm going to three. Yeah, they're fist bumping, so I assume they're leaving. Yeah. Victory. Arr! I mean, like, I know we're another werewolf bounce deck too, but like the things we're doing with Sebastian Shaw are keeping up with what this established Darkhawk Annihilist build is doing, right? Like the, all the sweaty players think this is the best deck in Marvel Snap right now. And what we're what we're doing is like, I've got, this is my third, third highlight game in a row where I'm like, yep, yeah, we beat that one. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some highlight games beating other things, but this is like the only opponent we're currently playing against. So yeah, 
All right, gamers, uh, it's about that time. We're gonna take a 120 second ad break. As always, if you wanna dodge that, you can consider subscribing to the channel even for free with your Prime Gaming sub, but you're not gonna miss any gameplay. We're gonna play some more of this Sebastian Shop out deck when we get back. Don't go anywhere. Watch it on the YouTube side because they're tapping the like button. Almost 300 viewers, only 129 button pressers over there. Yeah, we can open some of my things off the, off the what's it called? Argnaw, thank you for the 11 months. I mean, I haven't been doing these on stream and I keep forgetting to do it off stream because I'm so slow to claim things. Ramona boosters are ones I need. 200 credits is lovely. Do a reverse highlight of how to beat the best deck. I, I think any week you're missing two series five cards. If you're loosely interested in playing both those cards, it's a great week to use your keys. I think for a lot of people who are playing regularly, it's gonna be hard to find weeks where you're missing all three cards. So my, my recommendation is opening, opening when you have only 51 keys. There's like two keys I haven't claimed off the track, I think. Hey, Brendan, thank you for the membership on the YouTube side. Welcome to chat, appreciate that. Yeah, like even here, I'm not gonna have time to claim all this stuff in the, in the two minute break get through some of it. This is the first time I've ever not had all three. Yeah, if you're missing all three, like just rip it, don't think about it. Is a Black Bolt bundle worth it? Nothing in Marvel Snap you buy is worth it. You're literally paying money for pixels. That being said, the Black Bolt is one of the better ways to pay money for pixels. I think I like that better than my current scroll. Let's go, let's go double check here, huh? I think my current scroll was kind of mid. Yeah, I think Baby's an upgrade. Chibi, I'm, I'm really not a fan of Babies or Chibis. These are these are like the three picks, the three variant types I like the least. I think I think I like the Baby slightly more than more than the Chibi. Shiny logo. Shiny logo. <sighs> the base art's the best so far. Yeah, but I'm not a pleb, Chad. I can't use the base art, okay? Like, only plebs use base art cards. Darkhawk deck, daring today, I see. Interesting. Powerful off meta gamer. Long time watcher, first time caller, beloved, the Elsa Kitty deck. I wasn't invited to the streamer tournament today, so I will not be playing in that. I cast, I cast my vote for KK Sparkles, who was added yesterday. You should make sure to cast your vote for whoever, whoever you think is going to get you there. Uh, am I doing this? I'm doing this, I think. Honestly, I might. Uh, I might do this to this. Are we going to hood left? I've got to decide where I want to hood. I might, I might want to set up Hood into Beast the Hood. This is the thing, the Asteroid M's annoying because I can't, I can't surf her. Hood left and then Falcon, I guess.
Yes, if you didn't catch it because some of the participants shuffled in the Conqueror's Tournament, everyone is allowed to recast their vote on the website. So if you would like to do that and you haven't, you're able to do so now. Is that a base Shaw? Yeah, I like Shaw's, uh, what's it called, variant inside of the thing, so I'm waiting to... I think we're dead. They don't have a they don't have a dark hawk though. It's like these rocks into our deck don't matter because we forked the rock. I think it's just this, right? We're good to go. I think we're doing this. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to worry about the marveling the left. I'm adding, I'm adding six here, I'm adding six here, and I'm adding, uh, I'm adding six everywhere. I'm going to 10, 12, and 16. Uh, I'm beating Dr. Doom. Mm bop, dippy dop, the Doom bots. Beating up the Doom bots, do 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 do. Actually, actually just full gas rolled. Delicious. Victory. It's the origin of the word casserole. It's something Ben Brood said on a big stream, I think, when he did a collab with him. Opponent snapped. My deck's probably significantly worse than my opponent's, but I have Sebastian Shaw into Ironheart and a Beast by Ironheart, so I'm gonna stay, because who cares their ladder points? I missed fuck I missed that she had the forge mode I my kingdom for the this to show us again huh can we get her into play yes I am a golden god worship me god my brain is fucking huge chat you wish you wish you were half as good at marvel snap as I am Yeah, now I get to fill the right, so we snap him back, because it's Wakanda. This does mean I need to beast next turn, so hopefully we draw Hood Forge or Spider Ham. It's interesting that Shaw is not visually bugged with Nico, but he is with Forge. Just like big mom spaghetti, knees weak, vomit on the sweater already. Nico and Forge have different tabbing windows, that's true. That's true.
I could wolf. I can't move the wolf this turn, though. I think it's just this. Does this win the game? If I hit Nico with the Iron Heart, she goes to 12. They emoted me, I'm losing, so my body's ready to get a Lyoth to the middle. Are we good regardless? We hit it. Sweet. No, they were actually losing. Look at that. If I was minus four here, we still would have been okay, right? Yeah. Victory. Why did Nico go to 12? So this is interesting on the timing windows for Nico, Nico's double up mode. Her double her power happens after all of the on reveal effects of the card after her happen. So when Ironheart is the card after her, if Ironheart hits Nico, the Ironheart bonus gets doubled, which is a super relevant thing to know if you're gonna try this deck. Cause that, that one's gonna come up a lot.